this class outfit. I'm so tired. Should I drop out? I had my first class of the year today for semester two. It was a two hour like English workshop kind of thing. I'd never done a class like that. Um, it was just kind of like a lecture and a seminar all in one. To be honest, I feel like they could have just like given us the lecture separately and then done the seminar, but it was all right. It was all online, which I was kind of happy about because unpopular opinion I way prefer classes online. I only have classes three days a week this semester so I had one today which is Monday and then I have a class on Wednesday and a class on Thursday which are both in-person classes but today I am just going to try and do as much as I can for this week. I want to try put a lot of things on Notion. My camera actually just died so we're off to a good start. As I was saying I want to try and use, is this angle bad now? As I was saying, I want to try and put some stuff on Notion today and get it all sorted for semester two. I used it a lot last semester at the start. I was like really good at using it. And then obviously I just, I just stopped using it throughout the semester, which is probably what's gonna happen this semester too. Um, but at least if I start with the intention of using it, We'll see how it goes. So that's what I need to do today. We also have a flat inspection tomorrow. Kind of inconvenient that it's at the start of the semester. But I need to do a lot of tidying and a lot of cleaning. I'm just wearing this matching jumper and trousers. I got ready after my class because it was at 10, which to me is kind of early. So I pretty much rolled out of bed, put a jumper on and went to the class and was like half asleep most of the time. I'm really tired already and I've only been back at uni for like four hours. Oh my goodness. I'm just trying to make my lunch here. almost five now and for the past few hours I've just been doing some lectures so I think I'm gonna stop now and we're gonna go to the shop and get something for dinner. I feel like I've done enough today and I have the whole day tomorrow because I don't have any classes um, to try and just like finish off everything that I need to do. having this like chicken and onion kind of thing that my mum used to make for me when I was younger. It tastes so good, I made it the other day. But we added carrots this time, which feels like might be a mistake because I feel like it kind of smells like soup. It's just chicken and onion and 
bouillon. I guess you could use like any veg stock and then we obviously added carrots this time. And then we usually serve it with rice. I decided to not wash my hair this morning because I didn't think it was that bad. But now looking at myself in the camera, I think I might have made a mistake. I'm about to leave right now. I'm actually running a bit late to go on a walk with my sister. We were meant to go to the gym this morning, but she wasn't feeling well. So we're just going to go on a walk. I'm kind of glad to be honest because I woke up and I was not feeling the gym. I also need to go to the library because I need to get a book out that I need for one of my English courses. We were meant to buy them. There's like three like big textbooks and they're like 25 pounds each and they wanted us to buy them. I was like, I don't have the money for that. So I'm gonna go to the library and hope that nobody else has taken them out. I'm only gonna take one out right now. But yeah, fingers crossed no one else has had the same idea as me. Got my new shoes on that I showed in my last video. that are really muddy. I've literally worn them twice and I made them muddy already. <laughs> I ended up going into a charity shop with my sister, a new one that had opened up on Byers Road, which I had no idea there was going to be a new one. It was a cancer research which usually like fairly cheap, like just like a standard charity shop. But this one was like really expensive and everything was branded. But I did buy a couple things. I got these joggies for Danny because I bought him a pair for Christmas that were kind of the same colour. Actually, they're in that bag. Can you see them at the top? I still need to return them. I keep forgetting to. But they were too big. So I got him these, saw them. They were only £4. And then I bought this top for myself, this Nike top. It was five pounds and it's just this zip up blue top also i'm very aware that i look like i really need to shower i will be showering after this we were out for quite a while now looking at this i feel like i've got this in the exact same color in a long sleeved with a quarter zip but i guess it's not the same it had its tag on it said it was originally well it's a bit of a weird tag it says recommended retail price 55 factory store price 21 i mean either way if it was 55 or 21 i feel like i got quite a good deal for it so yeah i really like that can wear it for exercise or just you know for casual but yeah i had a nice time i'm actually right now let me see have i been replied to i'm actually right now considering dropping one of my courses actually the one that i went to the library to get the book for this morning so Maybe should have thought about that before I went and got that. But for one of my English courses this semester, I'm doing American literature, which is like, I don't know anything about American literature, to be honest. I don't really know why I took the course. Thought it would be fun. And then now leading up to it, I'm like, this may have been a mistake. And I've taken courses before that I have no interest in and they've been fine. But I'm thinking, do you know what? Maybe I should actually try find something that I want to do. So I'm now considering maybe taking Victorian literature. Not that I really know much about that either, but I thought it might be a bit better. It's like Charles Dickens and like the Bronte sisters and stuff like that. And I've read Jenny Eyre, so I'm like, wow, I know so much about Victorian literature. So I'm emailing right now to try and see if I can change because I tried to do it myself. Um, but it said the course was full. So it could, I could not be able to do it. I'm sure American literature would be fine. To be honest, part of me is kind of thinking that I'm just considering dropping because the seminars are an hour and a half instead of an hour. Not a half an hour is just I don't I don't want to do it. I'm gonna go for a shower now and then put on some comfy clothes and do some of my American literature reading just in case I can't drop the course. Christmas, Danny and I 
got one of these spice kit, I think they're called, and this one's date night in Corfu. So we're finally getting round to making it. For our main, we've got a lamb moussaka. We got this. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce them. Yeah, is that is that That's the thing you like. That's just like cucumber and yogurt. And then a Greek salad, which Danny's gonna make. So yeah, this is nice, fun cooking together. Juliet's thrilled. Danny also got me this apple juice, diluted apple juice. This is the best. This is the best juice ever. My parents bought it when I was younger, and they had to stop buying it because <laughs> I drank too much of it. It's really high in sugar. I'm gonna say that was a mini cucumber. Oh no, but mini cucumbers are- Comment down below if Juliet looks nice in her dressing gown. And did you get white pepper? today of the semester so I just did a bit of makeup and straightened my hair. It's a film one and it's a four hour class. I've never done an in-person class longer than an hour and a half so hopefully it won't be too bad. It's for film and it's basically a lecture screening and seminar all in one. I guess it's kind of better to be honest than having to go into the uni three separate times for the same class. I also need to quickly make some breakfast. I have to leave in like 25 minutes, so I need to eat something that's gonna make me not hungry for the next four hours. I might bring some snacks with me, but I have a feeling we're not allowed to eat where my class is. But like, surely, surely they're not expecting me to not have anything to eat for four hours. I need to choose an outfit now. Can't decide between comfort and looking good. I finished all of my classes for this week today. I am now in bed because I'm so tired. I had a Victorian literature seminar, the first one this morning, which went fine. And then I went to the gym with my sister and I've been back for quite a few hours now, but I've pretty much just been lying in bed editing the whole time. The first week back at uni was fine, but I'm very tired and it's only the first week. I don't really have any other work to do this week but I need to start reading my book, let me get it, in Victorian literature next week. We have to have read Oliver Twist, which obviously because I joined the course late, I didn't have the reading list, so I didn't realise we were reading this. Next week, and obviously it's kind of a big book, and I definitely will not finish this. But I'm going to try to start this today. Look how small the writing is as well. I'm just going to have a really nice and relaxing evening. Danny is going to one of his friend's houses, so it's just going to be me. I'm going to make a nice dinner, and then I'll just watch like a movie or something. Have a nice relaxing evening. I could start on 
some work for next week, but I do not want to do that. But not funny at all, I can't see myself. I said to Danny today that I was dreading the day I might have to buy a new camera. And it just fell off the table. And now I can't get the screen down. At least this video was pretty much done. Thank you. 